Hello everyone, my name is Crystal and welcome to Crystallized Witchery. In this video I'm going to be doing things a little bit different. I'm going to try and do things sweet, short, and simple. Um, this is also for my website. So in this video I just want to discuss exactly how spells work. A lot of people think that once a money or wealth spell or prosperity spell happens, they're going to get all the money that they want and they're going to become millionaires by next week. That's not how things work. Remember, witchcraft in general is all about just opening opportunities that is already in your life, but just opening more doors for you to get exactly what it is that you want. For example, if you're someone that needs money, I could do a wealth spell to make sure that you get a job. Now, there are also people that tell me, I want a job that pays really well and you know whatever the case may be now i could do that but i need specifics as well whenever you do a spell and it's very important for you to have intentions when you write out a job spell you're gonna put that it's really well paying that it's fun whatever the case may be but the biggest example i always give everyone you don't want to sit here and just have a job spell and say it could be anything the next thing you know you get a job for something illegal or you becoming a prostitute or just something you might most likely won't enjoy so make sure you specify let it be legal let it be fun now if you say that you want it to be fun define what is fun for you say i think that maybe working at a bowling place or a skating ring anything like that that's fun to me then you write that or if you find culinary fun for you maybe start off at a fast food restaurant or anything like that you know specify so just whenever you're doing any kind of prosperity wealth spells anything make sure that you specify do your intent also if you have a business already money and prosperity spells are really good for you to have because what it does is boost your business up whether more people start talking about it, bringing you more customers, and obviously when you want people to talk about it more, you want it to be positive. So you don't want people to say bad things and then you lose customers, you want it to be positive, bring more customer flow in, more money flow, and it gives you just a better chance of succeeding. Um, I think that pretty much sums up what I'm trying to say about money spells. Don't be a person that you're just expecting that money just gonna come over to you and you're just gonna sit back relax and you don't have to do anything everything comes with a price and usually the process of getting you to where you want to be is already right in front of your face these spells sometimes what they do is just open your eyes a bit and make you realize what it is that you already have and kind of give you a creative flow to help you get whatever it is that you already have and make that into something. For example, my personal business. I am someone that loves witchcraft. I do spells all the time for people. I decided to make it into a business, have my own creative flow into my business and do spells for people and help people. And I'm not doing it out of selfish terms, and that's what people like most about my business. If you cannot afford a specific spell, I try to find ways around it. So if I see that your overall goal is just to prosper, I would do a complete prosperity spell instead of charging you for, all right, here goes a wealth spell, here goes prosperity, here goes protection. I don't do all of that. I look for a way to put everything into one spell, and that's what people like so again just I want to put that out there another thing I do a lot of protection spells and usually I charge for each person if they're 18 or older or if it's for children well if they're younger than 18 and this is because the herbs that I use are specifically targeting children so they're to protect children whether it be for nightmares if um, you're afraid that someone's out they're like bullying them or they just need overall protection those are what I use as for love spells I definitely wanted to cover this in this video when someone tells me to perform a love spell I always ask for specifics 
you never just want to be like, okay, here goes a love spell, because that's just not how it works. If you want a specific person to fall in love with you, what can be done is basically, it's still considered a love spell, but it's to influence their head. They will constantly be thinking about you. And obviously we try to do our best to make sure that's a positive influence rather than negative. And that's what causes them to notice you more, to find you more attractive. That will spark the love into your relationship between you and that person. Now, if you're just out there looking for someone to just be with and you're calling that love, just ask for an attraction spell. It's two completely different things. Now you can look for a soulmate and that's a love spell, but if you're just looking for anyone to just enjoy your life with and just play around, mess about, nothing serious, ask for an attraction spell. If you just want to be covered with men, women, whatever it is that you want, attraction spell is the one you want to go for. It will make you kind of like a glamour spell where it will make you seem like the person they want. Um, if they like people that are sweet, you will appear to be sweet to them. If they want someone manly or feminine, whatever the case may be, you will seem like that to them and it'll make them attracted to you. I also do a lot of divorce spells. So there are two different types. There's separation spells and then those are revival spells. I know that there are many cases where there's divorce and you just want it to go as smoothly as possible want things to go by fast and make sure that maybe you're in an abusive relationship and you don't want to be harmed throughout this process. That's the separation spells that I do, like protection ones as well. Or if you want things to work out and you just want to spark that love again, that will be a revival spell. So um, those are different types of spells that you can do as well. There are a lot of beginner witches that come to me as well that are just starting their journey, something called out to them, do awakening spells. Awakening spells are great to awaken your third eye. And basically what that does is you receive messages a lot easier, you find it a lot easier to meditate, um, you pick up any information about witchcraft a lot easier, quicker, whatever the case may be, and it just overall works out. I also do focus and energy spells. I know some people feel like they don't have the time or they don't have the energy. They're just like, um, I have such a busy life. By the time I do this, I can't do anything. I just figured I'd let you all know that there are energy spells to any energy that you may have around you. You absorb the energy from your environment to give you a boost and make sure that you do whatever it is that you want to accomplish. Um, I think this will be my last one and I just basically want to say a lot of people suffer from mental illnesses. I do a lot of grounding spells so if you need that just let me know. The way that it works is basically the word grounded, think of roots, is you're putting down roots for stability. You're making sure that your head's not all over the place, you're not going through so many ups and downs, um, your anxiety, you know, you don't have to feel like you're shaken up or shooken up all the time. It's just you're calm, you're steady, you're stable, and that mainly deals with a lot of mental disorders. If you're one that feels like you're kind of all over the place, definitely go for that. I hope that this has broadened your understanding of how spells work. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comments below. Um, if you're interested in my business, please visit crystallizedwitchery.weebly.com. It will also be in the description below, so please go check that out. I've just come out with new bundles, new prices, um, new types of spells. Please go check that out if you're interested. I also have a donation button, so if you like what I'm doing, please come and donate. Everything that you donate goes right back into the business. And just for like materials, and just it helps keep all of the prices cheap and stable. This has been another Crystallized Witchery video. I hope that you've all enjoyed it and may you lovely gems continue to sparkle.